In this video, I explain quick exhaust valve. So from the name, we can understand the functions of the quick exhaust valve. So it is used for the quick exhaust of the air. Okay, so generally this valve is used in a pneumatic system, not used in a hydraulic systems. So first we understand the basic and then after understand the construction and working. This valve is specially used for pneumatic system, means it is not used in hydraulic system. This is specially used for a pneumatic system. And for the quick exhaust, means quick removal of the air, the quick exhaust valve is used. So we know that during extension or a detractions of the cylinder, compressed air is supplied to the one end. Suppose we consider that the extension stroke is going on. Okay, so during the extension stroke, we supply the compressed air to the cap end side. Okay, at the same time, at the same time on the road end sides, the air is supplied to the atmospheres. Okay, so air present in the another side means on the road side of the cylinder. Okay, they are exhausted to the atmospheres. So normally it has take a long part to travel through pipes and tubes to get exhausted through the exhaust port of the directional control valves. Okay, so we know that the directional control valves are connected with the actuator means they are connected with the cylinders. One part of the directional control valve is connected to the cap and port. Another Port of the directional control valve is connected with the road end ports. Okay, so we consider that extension is going on, means we supply the compressed air on a cap and side. At the same time, the air is supplied back, means exhausted from the road end sides. Okay, so this air on the road end side is supplied to the direction control valves through the pipes, and then after says is supplied to the atmospheres. Okay, so in a hydraulic system, what happened? The oil coming back from the road end side is supplied to the tank and reservoir, and they are again used. But in a case of the pneumatic systems, we need to supply the exhaust air to the atmosphere. We cannot reuse it continuously. Okay. So to avoid this quick air, avoid this means, so in a pneumatic system, the suppose the air coming out from the road end port is supplied to the pipe and from the pipe and tube it is supplied to the directional control valve. So this is the very long part. Okay. For avoid this, quick exhaust valve are fitted to the cylinder ports. Means the air coming out from the road end ports are not supplied to the directional control valve, but we need to put the quick exhaust valve on the cylinder port. So here I bolted front, okay, that is are fitted to the cylinder ports. Quick exhaust valve will exhaust the air to atmosphere at the cylinder outlet port itself and avoids the need to travel a long distance. Means the quick exhaust valve is fit on the cylinder ports, okay. So air is not required to supply to pipe and from the pipe it is supplied to directional control valve and from the directional control valve it is supplied to atmosphere. But here quick exhaust valve is directly put on the cylinder ports. So this air is directly supplied to the atmosphere from the cylinder port. So we are avoid the long distance travel. So here you see this is the constructions of the quick exhaust port. Here you see this is a P port. This is the A port and this is the exhaust port. And here one rubber type material is provided. So quick exhaust valve consists of the rubber seal. So this black color portion is the rubber seals. And this is the valve body. Okay, in this valve body, three port is there. This is the P port. They are connected with the compressors. This is the A port. The A port is connected with the actuators. And this is the exhaust port E. It is connected to the atmosphere. So quick exhaust valve consists of rubber seal inside the valve body. It has inlet port P. So it is inlet port P. Another is the cylinder port A and the exhaust port E. When air is coming out from the cylinder port A, the rubber seal close the inlet port P and open the exhaust port E as shown in a figure A. So here you see in a figures, here the arrow is indicated near to A port means from the actuators or from the cylinders, the exhaust air is coming. Okay, then it is coming this A port. Okay, and from the A port, so when it is coming, from these sides, this rubber seal is moving on the left side and this close the P ports. Okay. And the air coming from the A port is supplied to the exhaust port and from the exhaust port it is supplied to the atmosphere. Same way, another thing is possible when the air is compressed air is supplied from the compressor to the P port. At that time, what happened? This compressed air is close the exhaust port. Okay. So due to this pressurized air, the exhaust port is 
sorry, this rubber seal is moved near the exhaust port and the compressed air is supplied to the A port and from the A port it is supplied to the actuators or a cylinders. So when the compressed air is supplied to inlet port P as shown in a figure B, the rubber seal close the exhaust port. So here you see it is due to the pressure of compressed air, the rubber seal is moved towards the exhaust port and this exhaust port is closed and allow air to flow to the cylinder port A. So here you see from the P port, the air is directly supplied to the A port and from the A port it is supplied to the actuators or a cylinders. And this is the symbol of quick exhaust valve. So thank you for watching this video. If you learned something then like the video and subscribe my channels for watching the more video related to the OHP and other subject of the mechanical engineering for the OHP various link is provided in descriptions as well as in a card. Card means drop right screen of your mobile or laptop you see the eye symbols for other subject I request to visit the playlist.